close your eyes and find your breath. If it's not obvious, make it obvious. Breathe deep. And then stay there. You can change the rhythm of breathing, but try to stay with the breathing. The mind needs a good home inside. Otherwise, it's like a, a child whose parents don't care for it. It goes out and creates trouble out in the neighborhood. Because of a sense of dissatisfaction inside. So you want to find a happiness inside that's satisfying. Because otherwise you take it out on other people. So how are you breathing right now? How is your mind right now? What are your attitudes? Because comfort for the mind doesn't mean simply having a comfortable place in the body. It also means having comfortable attitudes. And the most comfortable one is goodwill, the realization that happiness comes from within. So your true happiness doesn't have to depend on anyone else's, and your happiness is not threatened or reduced by anybody else's. So much that we see in the world is dog-eat-dog, dog. the idea being that okay, if you, if you don't fight for something, well, somebody else is going to get it, and you'll be deprived. And that was the Buddha's image of the world when he first started to practice. A dwindling stream, fish fighting one another for what, what, whatever little water is left there in the stream, and then they all end up dying anyhow. And if your happiness depends on things outside, that's the way it is, because things outside just get less and less, and best people get more and more. And all we can think of is getting rid of the people we don't like, or getting, getting rid of the people who get in our way. But if you look for happiness, happiness inside, nobody's getting in your way. You've got the opportunity to breathe. No one can take that away from you. Even if you're in prison, they can't force you to breathe in an un uncomfortable way. You've got these resources inside that are going undeveloped. And you go out and trash other people's resources. It's really not right. The best thing to do is develop your resources inside with that realization that true happiness comes from within. So it doesn't depend on other people at all. And if each of us looks after our own true happiness inside, then we can live together in peace. You begin to realize that things we fight over outside are not worth the fight. I mean, there's enough food out there for everybody, enough shelter for everybody. It's simply that a lot of us have an idea that we need to keep stashing away, stashing away, stashing away. This is not just an American problem, it's been a problem all over the world. But once you realize your happiness comes from within, then you look at the things outside and you realize you've got plenty. You've got more than enough to share. When you have that realization, then it's a lot easier to live with one another. So look after your breath, look after your thoughts of goodwill, and look after your understanding of happiness. So you have the happiness you want inside, the peace you want inside, and the peace you want outside. As Lung Bhusawat used to say, each of us has one person. Well, be responsible for your one person. And you take a lot of burdens off of other people. <laughs>